Well, here we are again. Doesn't this look familiar? Fogged in, 61 degrees with a dew point of 61, so we have fog. The plan today is to uh, make a flight over to Avon Park. This will be a preview flight of our upcoming poker run flight to Avon Park as well. So as soon as this fog lifts off, we'll get out of here, guys. Good morning. Good morning. It's Wet a, wings. It's a little foggy here in Wachula again, isn't it? Yeah. And this is like it. Groundhog Day from last weekend. Yeah. Clear prop. Roll on throttle. Couple of the guys are having some launching difficulty this morning. Wings are soaking wet. Um, I don't have a full tank of fuel because I forgot my oil this morning and didn't realize it until I got to the gas station. So uh, I have to fly on what I got. And I, I got a half a tank, so it really should only take an hour or so to get over there. Really shouldn't be an issue. Uh, Carl and I are going to go on ahead and uh, work our way in that direction. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today's flight plan is from Wachula to Avon Park Executive. It's about 20 miles as the crow flies. This route ended up being about 23 miles. So when we leave the airport, we fly basically to the northeast. We skirt this county road, kind of parallel to it. That's a landmark that lets me know I'm in the right place. A little further up there's this uh, curvy road and I always notice that when we fly over. Further to the north of Wachula we'll come up on the headquarters of the Peace River Electric Company. This is where we make our turn to the east and head for the river crossing. Alrighty, so here we are uh, getting ready to cross over north of Wachula. We have this opening here where there's not a lot of congestion where we can safely make a crossing of the highway. We're starting to get some uh, thermal activity already. Uh, of course. Yeah, this makes a good place to cross over the highway and the Peace River. The, the Peace River or the woods that surround it are pretty narrow right here. So you don't have to climb up to 4,000 feet in order to get across the river without, uh, without losing your uh, emergency outs. Uh, that's kind of the way I fly all the time. I fly looking from uh, one field to the next. I always have that thought in my mind that if my motor dies right now, okay, I'm going to land right there to the left of that orange grove, thinking about which way the wind direction is on the ground, looking for those indicators. There might be flags or smoke or wind on the water. And uh, I kind of picked that up from my days of uh, general aviation. made my turn uh, pretty much due east. Yeah, I'm making about 36, 37 miles an hour across the ground. So that's good. That should put me over there in about 30 minutes. I'm good with that. Yeah, this is the narrowest crossing for the Peace River. Uh, I see some kayakers down there. Looks like they're having a nice Saturday on the river. Hi, everybody. PPG Gorilla! Oh, I found the landfill. By smell at first, and then I looked down and saw it. 
So today I'm flying a little ways north of uh, the track that we usually take to get to Avon. I just was kind of looking for a recommended route that I could tell people where you're best off to be able to uh, have a lot of LZs and uh, be close to roads and whatnot. And uh, so far this is pretty good. Got a nice narrow crossing for the river. I can see uh, State Road 64 uh, a fair little ways to the south of me there. And we're keeping our head on a swivel. Looking for buzzards, looking for aircraft, looking for everything. Well, hopefully when we have our poker run, we don't have fog. Uh, you get a fog delay like that, you end up not launching until, you know, 9.30 or something. It starts to get a little bit rough. My recommendation would be to fly to the north of the city of Wachula. Cross over the Peace River there. Once you cross over the Peace River at that point, you could basically head uh, due east. And then just... Uh, Pick your route, you know, you might zigzag a little bit like this. There's a, a, a creek that runs through here with a big area of forest. I don't remember the name of the creek, but uh, I go a little bit to the north of that, so I have these wide open fields over here uh, with nice outs where I can get in and land should I need to. Might be a long way from the road, but be a lot better than hanging from the trees, I suppose. So there's a huge dairy farm here. When you see this big dairy farm, you know you're getting close. You look a little bit uh, further to the east and you'll see Avon Park Executive. Avon Park, Paramotor, two miles west, 1,000 feet. Be making a straight in approach for the grass in front of the hangars. Avon Park. Yeah, Grill, uh, land, you're going to have to land opposite section uh, that you took before. Over. Copy. Yeah, I copy. Avon Park traffic paramotor, just west of the field, 900 feet. I'll be over flying 2-3 and turning back to the left to land in the grass in front of the hangars, Avon Park. Like a plan. Wind's blowing, uh, I'd say eight, eight to 10. Avon Park traffic, experimental sonic. Overflying the field at 3,000 feet, uh, 2,500 feet, Avon Park. Just drop down, lose some altitude here. Get ready for the rotor. We made it. Got a little bumpy down low, but uh, it was nice. Nice flight. My wing, I'm without a wing now. It's over there at Avon Park in the possession of Four Winds PPG and the glider shop. So uh, hopefully we'll have it done soon. I can go pick it up and fly back home. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along on another adventure. Till next time, Gorilla out. <laughs>